Hello all, Scott again, uh, back in the cockpit here. This time I uh, thought I would do another video, uh, similar to the last, let me get rid of that ATC for a minute. Do something a little similar to the last video, uh, only this time I'm in X-Plane, uh, running sim avionics. So uh, we're fired up, the APU's fired up. Um, getting ready to uh, start everything up here. Um, we're at Vegas again here. Um, I wanted to do kind of a comparison. This is X-Plane 10. 10.22 uh, uh, I believe. The scenery is Las Vegas Glitter Gulch. Uh, it's a payware scenery that is available at xplane.org. And it's really uh, some nice scenery as well. I tried to set up the weather similar to the last couple videos I did uh, of Vegas in FSX. And uh, we're just going to kind of do the same thing. I'll push back, taxi around. This is X-Plane. Uh, Sim Avionics. Um, and uh, let's go. So let's go ahead. Sim Avionics has some convenient features here that some of you may know, but I can initiate a pushback from the CDU using the SIM options function. And I can just, uh, I can go and call for a pushback. And let's, say, let's do the nose to the left. And start that. And the ground crew will call. Parking brake. Basically telling me to set the parking brake. Set the parking brake. And some things are a little funny in X Plane. I've got to tap the brake pedals a little bit, but see it says insert uh, S pin there. Now it's telling me to release the brakes. And he's pushing back. So again, fluidity. Very good. I'm running at about 28, 17, 25, 23, and uh, 31 frames per second on those. Here we are pushing back. See all the Southwest Airlines. Uh, there's Vegas over there. Mandalay Bay, the Luxor. You just told me all engines are cleared for start, so we'll go ahead and uh, make sure we got our backs off here and everything is set.